second and third question we have given this pie chart and we have to solve the second and third question so second question if the exam is for a total of 500 marks so we got total is 500 marks then what is the aggregate distribution of marks in physics maths and biology so we are given this blue is of physics 35% okay, 35% physics maths is green that is 18% this 35% is physics 18% of maths and biology yellow color that is 10% so 10% of goes to biology okay so if the exam of total 500 marks what is aggregate distribution of marks in physics maths and biology so physics is 35% of 500 divided by 100 plus maths is 18% of 500 by 100 plus biology is 10% of 500 by 100 so this is biology this is physics and this is maths on addition we get this 100 ca get cancelled with 500 and gets 5 multiplied 5 18 plus 35 plus 10 this gives you 5 multiplied by 63 this is equal to 5 is a 15 5 is a 30 plus 1 3 1 5 and so answer of second question is 3 1 5 mark third question the pie chart is misleading because it does not obey area principle what is area principle like addition of all percentage divided by total into 360 degree should be equal to 360 degree okay so which means addition of all percentage should be equal to 100 percentage this is the conclusion of failure principle so let us add this 35 plus 25 plus 10 yellow plus 18 green plus 12 orange which is 5 plus 5 10 plus 8 plus 2 that's 20 2 carry 3 plus 2 5 6 7 8 plus 2 is 100 percent hence the pie chart obeys the area principle so the first option is wrong now pie chart has round of errors no it does not have round of errors because addition is exact 100.00 percent so second option is also wrong pie chart is not misleading graph yes true the slices of pie charts add up to 100 percent yes that's also true thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos and our graded assignment solutions